Alright everyone, welcome to Cobbles and Catacombs card review. I don't have a clear understanding of how the material look like or my card's really good unless it's obvious. Even though I want to say a couple of words about upcoming expansion. Okay, let's begin. Grease Guardian, 8 mana 3 5. Taunt, the thrill recruit 2 minions that cost 4 or less for the druid. So this doesn't belong to any existing archetype yet. It's a beast, and also recruit is a new mechanic if you didn't know, it's like your charge type of effect, just pull something from your deck. So, I mean, it's hard to ev evaluate this one, it doesn't belong to any existing archetype. It doesn't belong to any interesting archetype I might think of. Unless, okay, there's one deck I can think about, it's like a ramp, I got a druid, but this deck runs fireflies, and you probably don't want to play this when you play a firefly deck. So it has to be some sort of mid-range druid, not based on buffs, and you should also have a lot of 4 drops. I guess you can get a Fendril from it. Let's say play this, you get Fendril and my Keeper. 2 3 5 and 3 3. It's okay, not spectacular. Also, later in game, you won't be able to use it because you won't have any 4 drops in your deck left. Okay, I don't see how it's working yet. Maybe later maybe not next expansion but maybe after if blizzard want to make something work it will work at some point if they want freeze shaman to work it will work at some point it just requires a couple more cards to be added some sort of crazy synergy with freeze effects and here we go for example if you want to make freeze shaman work right now okay i can name you a card if your opponent minion is frozen and you play this card, you win the game. Oh, Free Shaman is very good then, right? If Blizzard wants, they will make anything work. They will make Grizzle Guardian work if they want to. But for now, I don't see how it's useful. Katrina Winter Wisp. 8 mana 6 6 for the Hunter, legendary. Battle Cry and Destroy will recruit a beast. If you just put this card into existing Hunter deck, there are some 1-drops you play, you can only play, you can get away playing only 2 1-drops. If you recruit 2 2-drops two from it, it's okay already, right? Like 2 kindly grandmothers. Not terrible. On average you'll probably get 3.5. This card is good. It's like a... It's like a... A Lich King type of card for the Hunter. Maybe slightly better. It doesn't have a taunt. Nothing stops your opponent from just going face when they see it. It has a synergy with uh, 5 mana, 4, 6. I don't remember the name. The one who makes it the thrall cost to less. If you play this and it doesn't, it's not getting removed, so you can play Katrina on, on 8. Well, that's very good, right? Corpse Widow, thank you, chat. Uh, so, if there, there is such card where you can already put it into existing Hana deck, and it's not even tuned to be good for the Katrina. Also, don't forget about Barnes. You can get Katrina from Barnes. You can play Big Hunter. Nevertheless, just for like your Hunter deck, it seems like an okay fit already. And if it's okay fit to for an untuned deck, if you will tune deck a bit, it will become even stronger in it. So, I'm not saying it will 100% see play. Like Hunter as it is right now, it's not even a deck to consider. Just very weak bottom tier. Hanover requires require some more cards um, to make it work. More cards other than Katrina. Winter Wisp. But this card is probably what Hanover was looking for, went for. Seems good. Russian Walls. Destroy your opponent left and right most minions. You can control it in some sense. Your opponent can play around it as well. Just put two fireflies on the edge, clear the board. You might see one of this card in, in a big uh, Hanover deck. With Barnes and charge, But outside of it, I don't think it will see any play. Due to Rat plus Walls. Yeah, yeah cool story. Sleeping Uzlin, 6 mana 5 4 for the Hunter. The Throttle uh, gain the Death Throttle. Uh, Battle Cry gains the Death Throttle of random minion in your deck. Alright, so you can play this and you can get uh, Savannah's High Main Death Throttle. Book Chomp. So it's like a 5 4 High Main without Beast Tag. Cool story, Bob. Gaining the Throttle of Silver Ga Vanguard is the only thing I can think of. Worth taking. Also, the Throttle of Katrina. If you design your deck 
Like you shouldn't play Hymans in this deck even. In the deck you should play Uzling in. Just play Uzlings and uh, Vanguards and uh, Katrina and a bunch of A drops. That's all you need. Yeah. No other use. Just doesn't make sense. What will you get? The Thraddle of Kindly Grandmother. It's just not worth it. Very weak. Arthus also very bad. Yeah, only for this deck. That's it. But it might be a good deck, who knows. Tweak of the World Tree. 1 mana, 1 5 weapon for the Druid. The Thraddle gain, gain 10 mana crystals. So this card is cool, I was thinking about it a lot. Uh, in Wild, you can go Twig into uh, Blinktron to get 10 crystals on turn 5. In Standard, you can uh, combo it with uh, Mediv on turn 8. You have to pre equip the weapon. Also, you can just naturally stab your opponent 5 times. And then go like Marigas, Swipe, Swipe, etc. It probably belongs more to the um, to, to the big druid rather than jade druid because it's a big druid you oftentimes skip in turns before turn 8 so you have time to play it when as a jade druid you normally have something to do you are working on ramping your jades up you are working on just ramping your mana crystals you are drawing cards with snorish you just have stuff to do big druid doesn't have it also, as a big druid, you run, you run Maligus, naturally. Crazy stuff can happen if you run Twig of the World Tree. The card doesn't do anything immediately, right? You need to stab your opponent 5 times in order to activate it, and then you get uh, 6 cards advantage. It's like an investment, right? You invest uh, your mana into something which might not even work out. It's like a risky investment. Yeah, investors, uh, they're company you're investing to is telling you you will only get profit from our company but you know how it works right it might just go bankrupt and you lose your money <laughs> so what the fuck is happening if you play blink tron and turn 5 in wild you just ramp into to 10 mana and you also get 10 mana crystals you're just so dumb holy shit man fuck wild is so cancerous super high roll but i guess we're talking about standard here instead of i think this Card belongs to, to a big druid, it will find a card. Pretty sure about it. It will see playing big druid. And it will, it will not good enough. It will not be good enough in J druid. Maybe there will be some different deck, it will find a card as well. But I doubt so. It's only good in a deck. Yeah, it's probably only good in, J, in a big druid. When you just, you're looking for this huge chunks of mana crystals. Where you can take a risk or slow play and still be okay because of spreading plague. We'll see playing big druid. Branching path. A druid spell, choose twice and draw a card, give you minion plus one attack, gain six armor, four mana. Very flexible. Savage Roar is better than give you minions plus one attack twice. Nourish is better than drawing two cards. Gaining 12 armor, there's no equivalent to it. So I would say you want to play this card in a deck where you want to gain armor. It should be your primary way of using the spell, just to get some armor. Yeah, I know it's permanent Savage Roar, but your face isn't getting the buff, right? And it's also one mana more, so Savage Roar is just better. How does this work with Fendril? It doesn't work, I don't think. Because Fendril says you choose one card, um, have both effects triggered, but this is a choose twice, different mechanic. It's like a, like a heal 12 card for the priest, right? The potion, don't recall the name. Except you, it has flexibility. Drawing cards sometimes is good if you're out of cards. I mean, it's a good option to have, right? You should agree. Sometimes you just uh, had a really good hand. As a druid, you ramped a lot. And then you're sitting at 10 mana and you don't have anything to do. You just play Berenshin Path for Kajua. It works. I, I like uh, flexibility of it. I like how you can use it for an uh, unpredictable burst. Also, on turn 10, you can go Spreading Plague into Benching Path and make your guys 3-5s. There are many uses to this card. I think it will see play. Not sure if 2 off. Most likely just 1 off. 1 off in, in uh, Big Druid? Well, I don't know, maybe even not. I don't think I would play it in, in Jade, so... Too slow. Armor isn't a problem when you have Death Knight. Yeah, flexibility is cool. It's just not quite what you need, I don't think. Yeah, maybe just as a one-off somewhere. I will try it. I probably won't see any any play, so there are better cards to play right now. 
Cool design, so Wandering Monster, 2 mana Hunter Trap, Hunter Secret. When enemy attacks your hero, summon a 3 cast minion as a new target. So it's like a better bear trap. This secret sounds good. It already stops some damage, right? There's no situations, situation where it doesn't stop damage, unless you play against uh, Exodia Mage, right? It just fireballs your face. Any type of minion based damage it will deny it. I guess Rock can just hero power into it, but then you just get a 3 cost uh, minion and also you damage uh, his face. 3 cast minions are normally quite decent. You can get Injured Blade Master, Kill Mukla. I like it. I think it's a good trap. It can fit in uh, Big Hunter. You should play it in some sort of Hunter deck when your opponent has to go face. And if you're playing a normal mid-range Hunter, your opponent just wants to trade everything. Good card, we'll see some play in Big Hunter. Let's adjust spell, spell, spell stone. 1 mana spell for Druid, gain, uh, deal 2 damage to a minion, gain 3 armor to upgrade. And upgrades deal 4 damage and deal 6 damage. This one is just fine, right? I can understand this type of spells. It's like a holy smite, but you can also upgrade it. You never need to do it, but you can. Also, it's like living root type of spell for Maligas decks. So you can play like Maligas, uh, Lesser Just spell, spell, Spellstone deck right now and uh, play Twig of the World Tree to make um, to get mana crystals immediately after you play Maligas to kill your opponent. There's no more Emperor Taurus on, but you can still do the combo because of the twig. I like it. Actually, I'm not sure how this gain 3 armor to upgrade works. What if you just hero power 3 times? Will it count or you have to gain it in one action? Even then, it just seems fine. You can play UI and upgrade it. You can play Death Knight and upgrade it. Counts? I mean, great. It's just a good card then. Yeah, good. We'll see you play. I think you played a J Druid. I think you played... Not sure about Big Druid. Maybe even in Big Druid. It just sounds good.